A person can never be too young to make a difference. That's what one nine-year-old in Ames found out when he wrote a letter to ask for some help for his dad. Little did he know the letter sparked a big change. Local 5's Chinu Her has the story. It's not often the intersection of South Dakota Avenue and Mortensen Road slows down in Ames. Yeah, we walk it a fair amount. Brad Smith and his son Ben are pretty much experts at crossing this busy road at this point. They do it on a daily basis, walking Ben to and from school and to his appointments at Kinetic Edge Physical Therapy. But when Brad's doing it alone, Ben gets worried. About you crossing a, Speak up. Um, a super busy intersection. That's dad whispering to Ben like an encouraging teammate because that's what Brad and Ben are, a team. Ben helps Brad all the time because Brad lives with a genetic disease that has left him visually impaired. You know, with the limited vision I have, I am able to read the traffic to some degree, but a lot of that is assuming, you know, drivers are going to behave in, you know, a certain, certain way. Okay, so Ben, we're going to do our crisscrosses on the trampoline. So when Ben's occupational therapist, Rachel Barnett, was thinking of ways to motivate Ben to work on his handwriting skills, she knew exactly what to ask him. That's actually a great way to kind of motivate, like, this is obviously really important to him and meaningful, so how can we incorporate that into what we're already doing? Ben ended up writing a letter in February. Dear City of Ames, my name is Ben, and I'm nine years old. And it ended up in the hands of Brad Becker. He's the traffic supervisor for the city of Ames. And not very often. This, in fact, this is the first time for me um, getting a letter like that. Definitely could see or, or just sort of feel the love and compassion that Ben has for his father and uh, the inherent concerns that kind of comes along with that. Ben's letter got to the city of Ames at the perfect time, Becker says. The city had the supplies and funding in hand to get an audio crosswalk put up. Wait. Walk light is on to cross South Dakota Avenue. That audio crosswalk counts down and also helps audibly guide Brad, which Ben is so grateful for. I'm excited for him because now he can cross the street without any worries. Having the audio crossing is, has alleviated a lot of my anxiety. For Brad, this makes the back and forth at South Dakota and Mortensen safer every day. And it's a thought that crosses his mind often, how his son never stops looking out for him. He's uh, always helpful and <clears throat> in a uh, Yeah, he's always very helpful in helping me navigate when we go out places, um, you know, making sure I don't run into things and just being, being a good helper with finding things um, when we're out and about. He's, he's very protective. In Ames, Chinu Her, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.